words. They don't just communicate thoughts. They reveal the hidden things in our hearts. They don't just communicate ideas. They create worlds. The mouth and the words we say are a creative force that is not only used all the time, but everywhere we go. Our words are the very essence of how the Creator made us. Join us as we discover the essence of man and the power of speech. Hey, welcome to the Essence of Man and the Power of Speech, day 88. 88 days. Think about that. You've been faithful for 88 days. Yeah, you might have missed one, but you caught up, so that's good. Silence is golden. That's today. Silence is golden. Matter of fact, say that. Silence is golden. <laughs> it's one of the greatest treasures you can have. Abos 117, all my days I have been raised among the sages and I have formed nothing better for myself than silence. Um, this comes from Rab, uh, a gentleman by the name of Rabbi Shemo, which, uh, sh uh, excuse me, uh, a shaman, which was a second century uh, Tanatic sage, which means he studied the, 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 the scriptures. And um, he was around the area of uh, Judea. And he was active after the destruction of the second temple. So that's how far this guy goes back that made that statement. And he says, all my days I have been raised among the sages and I have formed nothing better for uh, uh, one, uh, oneself than silence. In other words, silence is the key. Now here's, here's the principle behind this. Uh, the sages were considered the wisest of men and did not engage in uh, pointless conversation, but spoke only of Torah. And what he's actually saying here, and this is what the, 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 the Tamul states, I have found nothing better for the body than silence. Well, we see this in Ecclesiastes that evil speech causes our flesh to sin. You know, it's been scientifically proven that gossip and jealousy affects, especially gossip affects the brain, releases chemicals in us. And there is something about silence. It can, it can cause us to probably be more healthy, to be brutally honest. I mean, we have to, don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, you have to eat right. I understand all that. Let's balance here. But there's something about silence that keeps a man at peace. And when a man is at peace, his body is not in turmoil. If he engages in no evil speech, he has no quarrels. Think about that. If you've ever been in an argument, how did it affect your body? If you've ever been in a, in a heated conversation, how did it affect your body? And this is, this is, this is the whole thing because the purest soul is one that seeks peace. And the purest soul that seeks peace is one that, that is going to depend upon silence the most. Again, I go back to the scripture. A fool opens wide his mouth. Um, let, me give, let, me give you, let me give you a classic example how easy it is to open our mouth. 
in an evil way. Okay? Let's say we're just having a conversation and, and, and I say, hey, you know, so-and-so, is she, is she pretty smart? Is she pretty intelligent? I just, just like that, I've just opened a door, if not careful, for an evil speech because you're giving me your opinion on so-and-so's intelligence. You say, what are we supposed to do? Just sit there and look at one another? Eh? <laughs> I, there's a, a, a friend of mine. He's, he's gone now but to be with the Lord. But um, he... <laughs> He was, he's written many books, okay? And he's known for words, uh, uh, things about words. And he and I would, we, we'd just be sitting and we we would enjoy each other's presence, but sometimes we wouldn't say two words to one another, just, you know, and every now and then when we did so, say something, it was pretty cool. But we were around this other mutual friend. He said, man, when y'all get together, he said, I just don't know what to do. He said, y'all y'all don't ever talk. Didn't have nothing to say. <laughs> it, it was it wasn't a slam to anybody. Just had nothing to say. Sometimes, just the most innocent conversations can open doors for an opportunity, unknowingly, to where we give our opinions about somebody that we aren't sure. Of. You know, it's uh, I, I, sometimes I'll be with people and I won't say much. And sometimes maybe people think I'm not wanting to be around them, but I'm just enjoying their presence. You can enjoy just the presence of people around you. It's the essence of the man and the woman and you just enjoy their presence and sometimes I've been in situations where I may have opened my mouth too much I have to ask for forgiveness later we all do but the main thing is that you guard yourself pay attention guarding yourself okay silence is golden it is very, it's a very powerful thing. And you learn from the wisest in silence. But only those who speak proper are wise. If they just open wide their mouth, then they're just fools. So, hey, that's day 88. See you next time on The Essence of Man and the Power of Speech. Have a good one.